This video provides an introduction to the Year 1 Semester 1 Inorganic Chemistry Laboratory Practical on the preparation of hexaamine nickel tetrafluoroborate. The primary objective for this practical is to learn how to efficiently perform a multi-step experiment. The practical will also enable you to gain a basic understanding of the symmetry elements present in the nickel cation and the BF4 anion. The steps of the reaction can be viewed as occurring as follows. Nickel chloride is dissolved in water. The nickel behaves as a Lewis acid and accepts a pair of electrons from the Lewis base, with the oxygen atom donating one of its lone pairs of electrons to the nickel, forming a coordination compound. With the addition of ammonia, ligand substitution of the coordinated water occurs, producing nickel hexamine chloride. Finally, addition of sodium tetrafluoroborate to the nickel hexamine chloride solution immediately produces hexamine nickel tetrafluoroborate as a crystalline precipitate. From the weight of the hydrated nickel chloride used as a starting reagent, the number of moles of this compound may be determined. Reaction stoichiometry will enable you to then predict, in theory, how many moles of hexamine nickel tetrafluoroborate would be produced. This is the theoretical yield, that is the quantity produced from the complete conversion of the limiting reagent. Using the weight of the sample produced, the actual number of moles produced of hexamine nickel tetrafluoroborate can be determined. The fractional yield is a fraction of the theoretical yield that was actually realized, that is the actual yield divided by the theoretical yield. The percentage yield is simply the fractional yield multiplied by 100%. Note that the product generated in this practical has both an inner sphere and an outer sphere complex. The inner sphere complex consists of the nickel cation containing six NH3 ligands coordinated to the central metal in an octahedral arrangement. The BF4 anion has the shape of a regular tetrahedron. For your write-up, you will need to consider the symmetry elements of these particular geometries. This concludes the hexamine nickel tetrafluoroborate introductory video.